61A lecture number three. This is a video only lecture because Monday is Labor Day and we don't have classes on Labor Day. We have videos on Labor Day. But I am releasing this video early so that you can watch it on another day besides Labor Day if you like. And this is the perfect lecture to be video only because it goes through a lot of details that are probably easier to follow if you can pause and rewind. This is also an important lecture because you're going to start to see how the rules of evaluation in Python can lead to some interesting behavior as we ask questions like, what happens if I use a name twice in two different contexts? Now just like in lecture two, we'll look at a lot of environment diagrams. The environment diagrams haven't changed for many years, but the program that generates them is new for fall 2019. So I'm going to give you a brief demo of how to generate an environment diagram for any piece of code you want right from the course website as I tell you about today's announcements. Before I get into the announcements, let me show you how to draw an environment diagram. We have a new button up here that says code, which brings you to code.cs61a.org. This was built by a student who took CS61A last fall. If you start a Python interpreter, you can start writing Python expressions right here in the browser and they'll be evaluated for you. So what happens if I set A to 2, B to A, and A to 3? Well, I need to look at an environment diagram to understand. And that's what this bug icon is for. When you click this, you'll see a region dedicated to environment diagrams that has all of the lines that you've typed into the interpreter so far so that you can step through them using this right arrow. 2 plus 2 doesn't change the environment, but A equals 2 does. Now A is bound to 2, B is bound to 2, A is bound to 3, and we're finished. If for some reason you don't like this interface, although I like it a lot, it's still possible to go to tutor.cs61a.org and this website lets you do the same thing. A equals 2, B equals A, A equals 3. Visualize the execution of that and you can step through the code. Same diagram here or here, it's really up to you. Now the videos you're about to watch were not all recorded this semester. Instead, I only re-record content that has changed from one semester to another. That way I can make sure that the videos really do cover everything I'll say in live lecture, but I don't have to spend the time to re-record lectures that I've already given. Instead, I can spend the time answering piazza posts or holding more office hours or whatever. And in the videos, that you're about to see, I use the old interface, tutor.cs61a.org. So if you want to see exactly what's on the screen in the videos, then you should go there. If you want to try the new version, then click on code on the course website. And I do strongly encourage you to follow along with the examples. Type them in, try them out, and get used to using these educational tools to help you understand the concepts in the programming language that we're studying together. Okay, on to the announcements. Homework one is due on Thursday. On Monday, September 2nd, we'll release the HOG project. The first project in the course will be due a week from Thursday, on the 12th. But you need to get started before then. The project has three parts and you're meant to solve the first part by yourself without a partner. Once you've submitted your work containing at least the questions in the first part, you can start working with a partner. And once you find a partner, you can share your code and both turn in just one copy of the project at the end. But do the first part by yourself in order to make sure that you understand how to get going. As soon as you've finished part one on your own, you can start working on parts two and three. Now, at the very latest, you should finish part one by Tuesday and we will have a checkpoint submission. If you read the project, it will tell you how to submit. You really do need to submit the partially completed project that has part one 
finished by Tuesday in order to get full credit. Now, don't wait till Tuesday the 10th to do part one. You can start on it right away. Only parts two and three depend on future lectures, in particular lecture four. Tuesday is just the absolute latest time that you should finish part one. A great way to be successful in CS61A is to start assignments when they come out as opposed to the day they're due. You can work with a partner on parts two and three. I strongly recommend that you find a partner in your discussion section. That way, you'll see each other in discussion, you'll have the same TA, and life will work a lot more smoothly. And as an incentive to start early, if you finish the whole project a day early, on Wednesday the 11th, you'll earn an early submission bonus point. A whole point just for getting things done early. This is an extra credit point, so it is possible to earn more than 300 points in this class, even though if you sum up all the assignments and exams, it sums to 300. So get started soon so that you can turn in everything by next Wednesday. Lab one is this week, Tuesday and Wednesday. If you would have lab on Monday, since Monday is Labor Day, you should instead go to lab on Tuesday or Wednesday. We will hold a couple of additional bring your own computer labs on Tuesday at 11 or 12 in Wozniak Lounge. That's where you should go if you would normally have lab on Monday. If you can't make that, go to another lab. If you think you should be taking CS47A instead of 61A, fill out this info request form. I talked more about it in the video of announcements for lecture two if you want more context. And I'll have extended office hours this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday if you want to come talk to me about anything at all. Enjoy the videos. If you like the video watching experience, you can continue through the whole course just watching lecture videos. But if you want to start coming to live lecture again on Wednesday, that's fine too. I'll send everybody an email about where to go to make sure that everyone who wants to come to live lecture on Wednesday has a seat.